I want to talk about how to create multiple invoices from one purchase order. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at a purchase order that will be pretty significant in amount. And our vendor will turn around and invoice us uh, separately instead of invoicing us for the full amount here. Okay. So the first step in QuickBooks Online is to generate the purchase order verify everything looks good before you email and send it out. So here is our purchase order that we're saving. And then let's say that we get, you know, our first invoice from it and they just invoice us just a small amount. Um, and they're just going to invoice us right down here, this 1,250. Okay. So, uh, step one would be open up the purchase order, click copy to bill. We would enter the vendors invoice number here for the bill number, uh, select the date, and then make sure that whatever the amount is on that, that date, the dollar amount is remain. So anything that you're not invoicing, there is a way to delete it by clicking on the trash can here. It'll ask us, there are multiple lines for this purchase order. Would you like to remove this line from the bill or link the unlink the whole transaction. So we just want to remove the line. And the reason why is we want to later use that line to a future invoice that comes our way. Okay. So we hit save. And that is our first bill off of the invoice. So we can go ahead and just mark that paid. Let's imagine that it's been paid. And here we go. Okay. So when we run the open purchase orders report, we can go to reports, look for purchase orders, open purchase order list. You can see that we have the full amount. We're just talking about this is our purchase order that we just went through. And then here is our balance right here. So let's say they come back and they issue us a $50,000 invoice. So we would go back and open up the purchase order. I can see in the top left hand corner that this has activity associated with it because of this linked bill right there. So that linked bill tells us that it has been converted, just not the full amount. So we're ready to convert the second portion of it. We hit copy to bill. And by default, it's going to try to close the whole purchase order down at 100,000. Well, we only are going to be looking at receiving on the second one, half of that. So put in the new invoice number here, the date, et cetera, and all that. And then down below, we either change the amount or the quantity to get our desired amount that we owe. So at this point, 50,000 is correct. We've got it linked. We hit save here. And I'll go ahead and schedule that payment right now. Okay. So start starting from scratch, when you go to expenses vendors, you'll see that we have two purchase orders currently are open here. When I click on that, the activity now is clicking on the actual vendor, Norton Lumber and Building and Materials here. And we can see some helpful information here. Like for example, we can see here's our big perch story here. Okay. And you can see over on the right hand side, the status says open. Now, if you don't see the statuses on yours, you can click on the little baby gear here and turn on uh, the status uh, item here to be able to see that, which is great. Okay. Now, um, that is effectively how to do that. Let me share with you how to run some better reporting as well. So if we just go and search the purchase order detail list, uh, purchase, purchase order. Here we go. Purchase order, open purchase order detail. When you're here, you can you can track um, 
purchase orders that are open, okay, you can see that these are, this is our balance that we have right there as well. Okay, so I can click on that and we're almost ready to close it out. We get our final invoice. Again, you can always look up here to see what invoices have been already applied. The final invoice, when I click on copy to bill, this will take us into the third one here. And everything has been closed out here. I'm actually just gonna leave one cent actually. So let's say we are leave a hundred bucks on it. Let's go ahead and close that out here. Because watch this, when we go back to the original purchase order, by going to expenses, selecting the original purchase order. What's really helpful is you can see a checkbox on the closed column here. So this is our last remaining item here that's not been closed out officially. And you can see as far as if you're tracking quantities, you can see that we are just one short of closing out here. We have 99. So going to click copy to bill. By default, it has automatically assumed we're gonna close it out. So we've got one right here, ready to go. Our fourth bill would end up being a hundred bucks. And that is, that is awesome right there. So uh, that's how we can handle managing one purchase order that is generating multiple invoices just simply go back to the original purchase order every time to generate the bill that comes in your way thanks for watching